And we return to book 22 of Homer's epic poem, The Iliad, where, spoiler alert, the death of Hector comes. Now, if you are just coming across this video for the first time, or have yet to catch up to this point, down in the description below is a link to a playlist where you can listen to the entire Iliad as it is being recorded. But if you have caught up, then without further ado and no more stalling for time, we begin with Book 22 of the Iliad, a short but brutal chapter, where it begins with Apollo revealing his deceit to Achilles, and that it was he himself that had led him away from the routing Trojans, who have now arrived safely within the city walls. Achilles, curses at this deception, sprints back to the walls of Troy, where Hector waits outside the gates alone, and contemplating whether to stay and die for his honor, or retreat to safety where he will face ridicule for failing to listen to the omens that were recanted to him earlier. His hesitation removes any real choice that he has in this situation. As Achilles closes the distance fast, Hector may have made the decision to return safely, but he made it too late. And as he runs away from Achilles trying to get into the city's gates, his escape is cut off by Achilles at every turn. And it is here that Zeus checks his scales of fate. Apollo grants Hector stamina and speed to keep pace with Achilles, but never enough to outrun him to safety. While Zeus checks his scales for Hector's fate, the scales, for Hector's sake, unfortunately comes up, showing his doom. And upon seeing that, Apollo abandons Hector to his fate. Athena disguises herself as Hector's brother and pleads to help Hector fight Achilles. Hector unfortunately forgets that his brother has already perished upon the battlefield and stops running to engage with Achilles. He proposes to Achilles a duel on the grounds that the loser is granted the honors of war and shall not have their corpse mutilated and returned. Achilles is far too gone in his rage and scoffs at this notion, claiming that there are no binding oaths between men and lions. He throws his spear, but Hector nimbly dodges the blow and reposts it with a throw of his own, striking the center of Achilles' shield, bouncing off. Hector calls to his brother for another spear, only to realize that there is no one there. With a sigh, he resigns himself to his fate. But to his credit, he still faces it bravely. He charges forward, sword drawn, but fails to see that Pallas Athena has returned Achilles' spear to his hand. Achilles rams his spear through Hector's throat, the one weak point in his old armor. As Hector is laying dying, he begs Achilles to ransom his body back to Troy for burial. But Achilles... Lost to his wrath, strips his old armor off of Hector's dying back and repeatedly stabs his body, calling all of the other generals around him to do the same. Now his rage is still not quelled here. Despite him killing Hector, he lashes a rope around Hector's ankles and drags his corpse around the walls of Troy, behind his chariots in an attempt to mutilate the body. Eventually, he tires of this, though, and he grows f increasingly frustrated at the body's inability to tear apart as he rides back to the Achaean camps. And all of Troy erupts in wailing and mourning at the grisly sight of their fallen champion. They all know that with the fall of Hector, soon too will their city fall. Hector's wife Andromache hears the wailing from her loom and rushes out to the walls just in time to see Achilles riding around Troy, dragging her husband around the city walls. She faints, unable to stand what has befallen her dear Hector. And with that... Book 22 of Homer's epic poem, The Idiot, comes to a brutal swing and a close.
And if you are enjoying this video, don't hesitate to give it a like and give me a comment on what I can do to improve. But if you would like a copy of the Iliad, you can pick one up in the description below using the Amazon affiliate link that also includes the Odyssey, both translated by Samuel Butler. And with that, I wish everyone the best. Take care, everyone.